Chongqing Express is probably the Criterion film that I saw first. It was when I first got into film school. I'd never really seen a foreign film before. I wasn't watching a lot of foreign films. I just remember just being like kind of sucked in and, uh, and having this feeling of how, of how big the world was, but how small it was um, at the same time because, you know, I don't speak Mandarin or Cantonese. I've never been outside of the state of Florida, and I'm watching this film, and I'm feeling all these things. And then stylistically, it was made in a way that was different than any film I'd ever seen before. What a difference a day made. I always obsess over uh, the Dina Washington montage. This guy basically summarizes an entire relationship in two minutes and like 34 seconds. And it starts out with this toy airplane, you know? That moment to me always struck me as something that was just like ridiculously beautiful, even though it's mournful at the same time. I had never seen anything like that in a film ever in my life, you know? And here's Dina Washington, you know, this, you know, somewhat tragic, you know, soul singer, you know, from America. And here's this guy in Asia. It's like, how small is the world? I just like how, uh, how much freedom there is in the way he juxtaposes images, you know? And the move for love. I can't even touch that film. Uh, not yet. I gotta do this for at least another 40 years before I can even come close. When I think of the way human beings process consciousness, it's much more in line with the way I think Wong tells that story. The movie's not linear, it's sort of almost circular. And I think when we think about the things we're feeling, we often tie them not to what's happening to us right now, but to something that happened either in the past or something we're anticipating happening. I think that movie does just an amazing job of translating what that feels like. In particular, just the idea of characters walking up the stairway. I don't think people have processed what that feels like much the same way after you see that film. It just communicates it in this very beautiful language that can only be captured uh, in cinema. I think in, in Wong's films, characters always are yearning for so many things. And oftentimes, I feel like those things are attainable if those characters choose to go after them. Wong Kar Wai does a great job of taking interiority and translating it to the screen, which is something you're taught not to do in film school, but I think is very, very much attainable within the medium.